Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aries. What lessons do you need to learn for January 2023? You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look and see, uh, you know, what lessons you need to learn. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, advice, okay? So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, all right? So tell me about Aries here. Tell me about Aries. What does uh, what lessons does Aries need to learn? What lessons does Aries need to learn? Also, a quick note that this reading is not mean, really meant to be cross-watched, twisted, flipped, or reversed. This reading is more so for the Aries individuals that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? All right, tell me about Aries. What lessons does Aries need to learn? What lessons does Aries need to learn for January 2023? For Aries. We had a star. Aquarius energy. The two of wands. Seems like you're caught in the crossroads here. Seems like you're trying to decide you know which way to go there is an energy of feeling stuck here there is an energy of hoping and waiting for things to get better here i mean i feel like the divine the divine in the universe is calling you here yeah to step through the door the store uh, the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo we have the temperance card sagittarius energy you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I feel like that, you know, right now, you know, you're in this energy of like, you know what, my life can be better, it can improve, you know, it's all about stepping through that door and walking through and doing the work that you need to do here. Uh, this is all about finding healing, peace, balance, hope, um, the moon and the eight of wands here. So the moon and the eight of wands. I really feel like right now, Aries, spiritually, you're really, really, really tapped in, okay? So I feel like there is a sense of finding yourself here, okay? Or under, uh, understanding yourself better, uh, connecting with yourself spiritually, okay, here. Um, you know, I, I feel like also, you know, right now, you know, I feel like you're in this energy of perhaps really, perhaps connecting with your gifts or finding your life's purpose here. Seems like you're really connected to your guides and your angels and your ancestors, your intuition, the universe here, the star in the world. Tell me the two of wands here and the lovers. You know, I feel like this is like an energy of like, you know, the lovers here. It's like, are, are you going to choose you or are you going to, you know, choose something else or someone else, you know? I feel like you're going to choose you. And I feel like it's due to maybe like, you know, some broken relationship that you just went through here. It could be love, could be, you know, friends, family here, the world and the lovers, Gemini energy, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Tell me about temperance here. One of the things I'm getting here is that you are in the in this time, in this, uh, you know, kind of enjoying life more, you know, having a good time, celebrating here. Or surrounding yourself with like-minded people here. So I feel like a lot of you guys, uh, you know, could have gone through this huge, huge process of cleaning house. You know, per perhaps your friend group has shrunk here. We have the cherry here, cancer energy. I mean, there is definitely, you know, an energy of sort of like overcoming this, okay? You know, really determined to seek this higher purpose here for yourself. The moon with the ace of cups here and the eight of wands here one of the things i'm getting here is that you know uh it you know for you aries if this if this, if this is what you struggle with it's really important to for you to be open 
uh, uh, to be open with your emotions here because perhaps sometimes you tend to hide it here. Eight of Wands here and the Three of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are finding or that you guys are on the spiritual path by traveling to different places and learning about different spiritual lineages or something like that. All right. Yeah, I see travel happening for you, especially with the world card, Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands here. What else does Aries need to know, look out for, and work on here regarding their lessons? What else does Aries need to know for January 2023 for Aries? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have Judgment here, Sagittarius Energy. Aries, it, it seems like you're going through like a major, major, major spiritual awakening here. Yeah, whatever this is, it's kind of like, you know, I feel like you're being called or that you're waking up to this calling here that you're getting here. Okay, uh, what else do we have here for Aries? We have the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the uh, Four of Swords and the Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What I'm getting here is also, you know, you could be letting the past go or that you could be, you know, you know, you could be finding closure regarding a past situation here. You know, maybe someone here owes you an apology and, you know, you basically could, could, couldn't move on or let it go unless you heard it. But perhaps you're working on finding that closure on your own and really disengaging from the past here. Okay. Uh, perhaps this is someone that you dealt with romantically here. Four of Swords and Queen of Wands. Definitely, definitely doing a lot of healing work here, Aries. Eight of Pentacles here. Death card. Yeah, so Aries, you're going through a huge transformation here. You're, yeah, you're just, you're changing as a person here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you could be realizing this because maybe life is too short. Yeah, maybe you've seen someone lost their life. Over, you know, and you, you know, you just realize that, you know, I want to improve my life, you know, because, you know, you realize that anything could, you know, it could be taken away from you in a second. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Six of Cups here in the Strength card, Leo Energy, Page of Pentacles here, and the Justice card. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like you've given yourself a lot of compassion here, uh, you know, in regards to you know a lot of the things that you went through here and i feel like you're learning a lot of lessons here yeah so i just feel like you know i feel like this is like about honoring your truth here and living your truth and being honest with yourself seven of swords and four of swords queen of wands here in the three of swords perhaps she held on to someone here that that has hurt you okay lied to you was deceptive towards you and i just feel like you don't want to sabotage yourself here by sticking around with this individual yeah, it seems like you're taking a new direction here. You're trusting your intuition here, Aries. Okay, so Aries. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you know, this is about living your truth. Yeah, so Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.